Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Kiff's Crypto YouTube channel. As you know, we love meme coin projects on this channel, and today we're looking at one called Pepe Unchained. Now, this is a very interesting and exciting project. You've probably seen it pop up all over the place. There's ads everywhere about this. There is huge hype around it at the moment. Now, not only have they raised 22 million in the pre-sale so far, which is still ongoing, by the way, they've also got some very lofty ambitions. They're building a layer two blockchain, which is going to be 100 times faster than Ethereum. They've also got some very interesting stake and reward programs, such as over 100% per annum rewards. Now, I'm going to go through why Layer 2 is very important here and why this blockchain is creating so much hype. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So, here we are. Well, here we have Pepe Unchained. And as I said, the pre-sale is still ongoing. Currently raised $22 million. And I'm going to show you how to buy some of this in, later on in the video. But let's go on to what this is about. Pepe Unchained, the future of meme coins, a layer two blockchain built for speed, security, low fees, and of course, memes. Pepu is the native token, and that powers the entire ecosystem. Now you're early enough to witness a new golden age of meme coins, with Pepe in his rightful place as king, and the Pepe Unchained layer to his kingdom. So why is layer two important, right? Layer two, first off, refers to a secondary framework or protocol built on top of the existing blockchain. So that's, in this case, Ethereum. Now this secondary layer improves the scalability, speed and efficiency of the primary blockchain, making it possible to handle higher volume of transactions with a much lower cost. Now, anybody that uses Ethereum and, you know, I am a fan of Ethereum, but the fucking transaction fees are insane. And now they do vary in terms of depending on how busy the blockchain is, but it's ridiculous at times. So this is why layer twos are very popular. And Pepe Unchained is building their own version. Now, as I said, there's a lot of hype for this. And you can see it's been featured on Bitcoin.com, Binance Square, CoinMarketCap, Techopedia, there is a, just a monster amount of hype around this, which we've seen before in the space, and it doesn't always necessarily lead to a good outcome. But in this particular case, I have a very optimistic and positive feeling about this project, and I'll show you a little later why. So as we've already discussed, the layer two's element to this and the importance of it, that will allow them to create a blockchain ecosystem so it'll also mean they'll be able to create the own DEX, which will swap tokens an awful lot quicker. They'll create a bridge, which will allow to move between chains, different blockchains. Obviously, it'll be a block explorer. Staking, put your tokens to work and grow your assets through staking. And the development grant, which we're going to take a look at now. So yeah, the development grant is something that's very interesting. Do you love Pepe? Do you want to receive grants for building on Pepe's new blockchain? They're proud to announce they've launched of the Pepe Friends with Benefits Collective. Blockchain developers can build upon the groundbreaking Pepe Unchained Level 2 and be rewarded for their work. So essentially is you build, you submit your grant application, the Pepe Council votes on it. If you're successful, the grant will be released. And they're already looking for applicants. Now, how to buy this is the important part. And before we get into this, I want to show you one thing, which is pretty relevant here. If you want to buy with BNB, which a lot of people do because of the fees and other elements, you got to be aware of this. If you purchase on the Binance Smart Chain during pre-sale, you won't be eligible for the 103% annual returns from staking. So they recommend you buy on the Ethereum. And so to complete that, it's very easy. You connect your wallet, pick whichever wallet you want. And if you don't have one, you can go and create one. We're a MetaMask, obviously. So as you can see, we've connected our wallet. We're going to buy 0, 0.0. Let's just put that to a right out nine. That'll give us just under 20,000. Let me see if I get 20,000 bang on. They ask you to confirm. Confirm. 
And uh, the estimated fee with this is $11. Absolutely. It's atrocious. Fucking atrocious, the fees with Ethereum. But anyways, here we go. Submit your transaction. There you go. Your purchase has been successful. Your tokens will be available to claim once the token goes live. So as you can see, we now have 20,000 Pipu tokens. So we've done that how to buy. We're going to look at the tokenomics now. So this is the breakdown of the tokenomics. Pre-sale, 40% are going into it. So 40% is available to the community. Staking is 30%. And because it is layer 2, the staking rewards are doubled. Marketing is going to be taking 10%. And very, very important. Liquidity is going to take 7.5% for the decentralized pools. Project development, 75 and the chain inventory is going to have 5%, an allocation for the Pepu layer 2 chain. Now, the white paper is very interesting here. Is the roadmap. You look at, it's a meme coin, so let's not expect a whole lot of detail here. But obviously, the most important thing here is the creation and the completion of the level, the layer 2 blockchain, which I think they said in their Telegram group is about 90, 95% completed. So they're almost there. Step two is going to be a coin eruption with a burning desire in their loins. Pepe on chain erupts during pre-sale, offering double the staking rewards. This is an explosion of Pepe juice all over the blockchain. Step three is the layer two launch. Pepe on chain's layer two blockchain launches at the end of the pre-sale, creating a shockwave through the meme world. Now you got your FAQs over here. And as you can see, these are the basic questions here. What is Pepe on chain? I do like here where they wrote, it is a better version of the original Pepe. It's not only a token, but a meme coin ecosystem. Where can you claim, when can you claim your tokens? Your tokens will be available once the pre-sale finishes and you'll just have to log back into your wallet and hit the claim button. And why is layer two better? Well, obviously the transaction fees and the quicker speed. When will Pepe Unchained layer two be released? And as I said, that is going to happen once the pre-sale is completed. White paper's over here. Do you know what? Considering a lot of meme coin projects don't bother with a, uh, with a white paper, but this is an actually nice white paper. Just why they're going for a layer two, how to get started, basically the stuff that's on the website. And this is where you're going to be sticking. And they already have the staking dashboard completed here. Total stake to uh, 1.5 billion so far. There's going to be 8 billion of these tokens. And the estimated returns is going to be 103%. Current rewards per ETH block is 608. And as you can see, as the supply goes up due to the staking rewards in May 2026, we're going to reach the 8 billion mark. So another interesting thing here is the audit, which has been completed, passed with flying colors. As you can see, a blockchain security, smart contract audits, KYC development marketing made in Germany. Pepe Unchained audit security assessment was completed for the 18th of June this year. Now, there was something down here I wanted to show you guys, which is very important. You need to be looking out for this kind of stuff when you're thinking about investing in projects. I mean, there is a lot of other stuff you need to be Keep it an eye on two, but here is something that's critical. The contract is not upgradable. The contract is not an upgradable contract. The deployer is not able to change or add any functionalities to the contract after deploying. So that's critical. And also the ownership has been renounced. Hence the owner cannot update any settings in the contract. The contract owners cannot mint new tokens. The owner is not able to mint new tokens once the contract is deployed. And the owner is not able to burn tokens without any allowances. So, yeah, the audit is completed, as I said, flying colors. And that technically is Pepe Unchained. So, guys, that's Pepe Unchained. I absolutely love this project. I think it's going to do very, very well. This has the potential to easily do 10x on launch. The reason why I say that is they're doing everything right. 
They've got their auditors and they've blessed with flying colors. That contract is not editable at all. They're creating a ton of hype. You'll notice their ads everywhere. Their community is super active. It's growing all the time. Their Twitter's got over 50,000 followers. Real ones, I may add. They're creating their own blockchain. They seem to be taking a very professional approach to the whole project. And they're very focused on their community and rewarding them. So guys, go check them out. Let me know what you think. As you can see, I'm invested in them. I'm going to be investing more into the project. I do think it has incredible potential when it launches. But I'd love to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments box what you think of Pepe Unchained. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you didn't, fuck it, go on ahead and hit the dislike button. If you're new to the channel, I would love you to go and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell also. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.